this current rally has definitely been the most hated rally by savvy investors. And I chuckle when I say that because most investors that I spoke to coming into 2023 thought it was going to be a difficult year again. I don't know why they would have thought that because as we know from history, very rarely do we have two negative years in a row. The last time we saw back-to-back -back negative years was not since the 2001, 2002 timeframe, actually 2000 to 2002 timeframe in the US and in Canada, we saw back-to-back -back negative years at that time as well. Prior to that, you had to go back all the way to 1987. So we've only seen, I guess in the last, what has it been, 35 years or so, one time where we had back-to-back -back negative years. And yet coming into this year, many believe that it was going to be a difficult year, that we were going to fall into a, a recession, whether it be a mild or a deeper recession. Most investors figured that was going to happen. A lot of investors thought coming into this year, the only part of the market that would move higher would be oil. And that was going to be on the back of obviously what's going on in Ukraine, the Russia-Ukraine uh, war. People thought that there would be a shortage of oil, natural gas around the world, starting in Europe. That didn't happen. We're seeing natural gas prices the lowest we've seen in many years. We've seen the U.S. pick up the slack uh, for oil, producing over 12 million barrels a day, almost 13 million barrels now. So even though the Russians and the Saudis have cut back on oil production, the U.S. keeps pumping, pumping away every day. So a lot of individual investors thought that oil would move higher. And actually, up until recently, oil has been one of the weaker performing sectors in the market. And here we have a another chart here where you can pull up uh, the S&P 500 again, I believe. And you could clearly see how well the S&P 500 has done, how much it's caught savvy investors off guard. And it's funny how it works, but the more negativity out there, the more I'm actually bullish. It's that contrarian mentality, that contrarian view of the markets. That's what I want and I'd like everyone to have. When those are pessimistic, those are fearful, as Warren Buffett says, that's when you need to be greedy. That's when you need to buy. And so this being uh, a rally that most people didn't believe in for quite some time, that, that people have been fearful of since the beginning of the year. And yet, look, the market has gone up pretty much from the lower left at the beginning of the year to the top right. We've seen a bit of a fall off, I guess, in the last week or so. And as I said in my last segment, we could see maybe a, a mixed bag over the next month, month and a half because of seasonal factors, because of low trading volumes, et cetera. But overall, it's been a very strong year. And what's been leading the S&P 500 has not been oil. It's actually been technology, as I said. And so savvy investors got it wrong. And as these savvy investors now realize they've gotten it wrong and start chasing this market higher, what does that mean? Well, they start putting more and more money in because they want to join the party. They want to get a piece of all this growth. And so that just pushes this market even higher. But I will say, as a contrarian, when we start to see some of these bears, some of these negative investors starting to get in the market and capitulate and give up, that's when, yeah, maybe you want to take some profit off the table. As a contrarian, when people are buying, you want to be perhaps taking some profit. When they're fearful, that's when you want to be buying. So wanted to point out in today's show that all those individuals that you may hear, see on the TV or read about online, talking about all this doom and gloom at the start of the year, the impending recession. Uh, we just have not seen it. And uh, as I said, unfortunately for these investors, it's been the most high hated rally for them because they haven't taken part in it. Luckily for, for us, we've been talking about buying into this stock market since the beginning of the year, buying technology in, in, in uh, for specific sector, in particular technology. And that has fared a lot of us quite well. So going forward, try to, I guess, not really listen to a lot of the noise from some of these savvy investors because unfortunately they've got it wrong until now. Hopefully they'll get it right going forward, but you never know, right? You never know when the money starts pouring in, 
maybe that's when we start taking a little profit off the table. Not all of it, but maybe start trimming those profits as part of a risk management strategy.